Welcome back to Inspur Eclipses, the channel where we uncover the mysteries, histories, and stories of the world that will leave you questioning reality. Today, we're talking about a place that's captivated imaginations for centuries, Easter Island, a tiny, remote island in the Pacific Ocean that holds one of the world's most puzzling mysteries. How did a small group of people create those massive stone statues? And what tragic events unfolded on this isolated island? Stick around to find out, because this is one story that'll leave you amazed, and maybe a little sad. First things first, where is Easter Island? If you were planning to visit, you'd have to fly about 3,500 kilometers off the coast of Chile. That's like flying from London to Egypt and landing on a tiny speck of land. Easter Island, or Rapa Nui as it's traditionally called, is one of the most isolated inhabited islands in the world. With just over 160 square kilometers, it's not exactly big, but its history and mystery more than make up for its size. The landscape of Easter Island is volcanic, and while it may look peaceful today, it's had quite a wild history. Three extinct volcanoes shaped this island, and the terrain is dotted with craters, cliffs, and fields of rock. It's almost as if the land itself is a reflection of the island's turbulent past. Now, what makes Easter Island famous? That's right, the Moai. These giant stone statues are the island's claim to fame. They stand between 4 to 10 meters tall and weigh up to 75 tons. And the burning question is, how did the ancient Rapa Nui people carve and move these colossal figures? Keep in mind, there were no cranes or modern machinery. Just manpower, ropes, and perhaps a bit of divine inspiration. Here's a fun fact. Like and subscribe, and it give me divine inspiration too. Some theories suggest they used wooden sleds or rolled the statues on logs. Others believe they might have walked the statues upright using ropes a bit like wiggling a fridge across the kitchen floor. If you've ever tried to move heavy furniture, you know how hard that can be. Now imagine doing it with a 75-ton statue. And here's the kicker, the Moai were more than just statues. They represented ancestral chiefs, standing tall to protect the island. Each one was placed to face inland, watching over the villages. Talk about keeping an eye on things. So, who were the people behind these statues? The first settlers are believed to have arrived around 1200 AD, navigating thousands of miles of open ocean to reach this remote island. They came from Polynesia, bringing with them a unique culture and way of life. For centuries, the Rapa Nui people thrived, building a complex society based around the Moai statues, agriculture, and a system of chiefs and clans. But this success didn't last forever. As the population grew, the resources of the island began to dwindle. Trees were cut down to clear land and, possibly, to transport the Moai. And here's where things take a tragic turn. Deforestation became so widespread that, by the 1600s, Easter Island was essentially treeless. No trees meant no canoes for fishing, no wood for building, and ultimately, no way to sustain the growing population. The collapse of the environment led to societal breakdown. Without food and resources, the islanders turned on each other in civil war. The Moai, once a symbol of protection, were toppled in the chaos. And by the time European explorers arrived in the 1700s, the population had plummeted, and the golden age of Easter Island was over. So, what's the mystery? Well, apart from the logistics of moving the Moai, there's the question of why the Rapa Nui pushed themselves to the brink. Some historians believe it was a case of resource overuse. They simply didn't realize the damage they were doing until it was too late. Others think there might be a deeper, almost spiritual reason for their actions. Perhaps they believed building the Moai would restore balance or bring favor from the gods. And then, of course, there's the question of how the island society could fall apart so dramatically. Was it purely environmental disaster? Or were there other factors at play, like disease or outside influences? The truth is, we still don't know the full story. Easter Island holds on to its secrets, even after centuries of study. Today, Easter Island is a Chilean territory, and its population is much smaller, around 7,000 people. The Rapa Nui culture is still alive, with many descendants of the original islanders calling it home. 
The Moai stand as silent witnesses to the island's complex history, and while many were toppled in the past, efforts are being made to restore and protect them. Scientists and archaeologists continue to study the island, and while we've learned a lot, new discoveries are still being made. The island now relies on tourism as a major part of its economy, and visitors from around the world come to see the statues and learn about this tragic chapter of human history. Now here's a real fun fact. Rapa Nui people developed a unique script known as Rongo Rongo, which hasn't been fully deciphered yet. Imagine having a writing system that still puzzles linguists today. Talk about cryptic. So, should you visit Easter Island? Absolutely. It's one of the most unique places on Earth. A land where the past and present meet in a truly haunting way. Whether you're drawn by the mystery of the Moai, the beauty of the landscape, or the story of the people who called this island home, Easter Island is sure to leave an impression. Now here's another real fun fact. Today, Easter Island is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and archaeologists are still uncovering new findings. Now, just be sure to respect the island's fragile ecosystem and history. After all, we don't want a repeat of what happened all those centuries ago. And remember, the island may hold mysteries, but one thing's for sure. It's a place where the tragic and the awe-inspiring come together in the middle of the Pacific. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the mysterious and tragic history of Easter Island, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. More incredible stories from around the world are coming your way on Inspur Eclipses.